to see so many people here, and I think those very lovely people should give those lovely people a good round of applause anyway. Absolutely splendid looking tables in front of every splendid looking competitor. Uh, I trust that you've thoroughly enjoyed your morning and that you haven't found it too stressful. I did tell you that smiling was permissible and I think generally speaking most people manage it. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. And judging by the displays I would uh, think that uh, Jamie Oliver's input into educational catering is rapidly becoming superfluous. <laughs> uh, I will initially uh, just reintroduce the, the judges, who you all pattern does know at any rate, and that's Gary Kilminster, actually apprenticeship uh, coordinator from the college, and Colin Nash, who's head chef of the Three Tons at Bransgore, and Thomas Workman, head of uh, hospitality and catering of the Leaf Academy, and Justin Castle, who's head chef of Isabel's Restaurant. Thank you very much indeed. I do know, I mean, they always say this, don't they? I do know you have had a very difficult task. And the results over there will bear witness to that. <coughs> assessment line. Uh, so I am going to ask Colin if he would just say a few words from the judge's perspective on the proceedings of the board. Hello. Um, we all had different decisions when we were uh, looking at different people, thinking who we're gonna, who's going to win and who isn't. And actually it turned out different completely when you write it down on paper and score it individually. Funny thing is I was judging between two different rooms. And when we'd finished, um, my points were exactly the same for the winner as the person in the room and the other chef in the other room. So it worked out quite well. And first and second place, there was only one point in it. One point out of a hundred. So it was quite tight. But the standards were amazing. And I must admit, I couldn't cook at that age as good as you can. So well done. Okay. I am delighted to welcome our special guest today, and I'll thank them in advance for taking the time out of what I know is very busy schedules for all of them uh, in order to be with us today, and I hope and trust you enjoy the experience. Uh, first thing we have uh, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Dorset, Mr. Angus Cavett. Him presently to uh, present the certificates and, and the prizes. Um, and welcome to the worshipful the, the, the Mayor and Mayoress of Bournemouth, uh, Councillor Dr. Rodney Cooper and Mrs. Elaine Cooper. And also, it's a rotary event, and we're very, very pleased that the district governor for Rotary District 111. Zero, Mr. John E. was able to be with us today. I'd like to present a certificate to all the participants to prove that they had a wonderful time here today. These are not in any order at all, apart from when you call your name. So if you would like to come and collect a certificate, please. Shannon White, please. Well done, Shannon. Fantastic. I've done it twice today. You're gonna... Thank you. Look at that. That's lovely. No flash on this one. That's fine. Yeah, That's lovely. <laughs> Tell us when you're ready. I'm, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> and in second place is Emily Robinson. Hey. Thank 
you indeed. And the winner is Oliver de Costa. <laughs> Okay, Oliver, this way. That's uh, lovely. I'm told, and I know, there's won competitions before or you wouldn't be here. You've travelled a long distance. I was talking to the Channel Islands fraternity earlier on today. Very impressive. The food's very impressive. We've heard uh, from the judges uh, that it was a very close competition, and it doesn't surprise me what, one little bit. Looking down the tables, you can see different people's personalities in them. They're that sort of work of art, and you should be proud of what you've done. All of you should be proud of what you've done, and I hope you're going to keep this up and go into the future. It's a fantastic thing to be able to do, and I know that because I can't cook to save my life. I really do appreciate people who can, so it's fantastic. I wouldn't like to, to stop talking today without thanking various other people in, in general. The judges have put a lot of work into this, and their experience goes into judging. It's no easy task, I know. It has to be done absolutely accurately, and it's always very difficult. Rotary have got this today. They bring, bring this on. So they're bringing young people on by giving them the opportunity to do this. And that's hugely important, I think, the young people. Rotary do that in many different areas, including musicians. There is a, meet, a meeting tomorrow about young music, musicians that the Rotary are putting on in the county of Dorset as well. So they deserve thanks for the work they do, which helps young people get inspired what they may do in the future, you won't all necessarily be chefs, you may not all want to be chefs, but one thing's for sure, you all could be chefs, and that's something that you've proved by your dedication to this. And of course, I don't like to leave the parents out, because parents need to support young people when they're doing things, without that, that support it's very different. So that's also impressive. So I think you should all give yourselves a very good round of applause, and I am very grateful for being asked to speak to you. But um, thank you so much, everyone, for inviting us here and putting on such a wonderful uh, occasion. It's tremendous to see uh, uh, the young people actually achieving things like this. And this is a splendid example, as far as I'm concerned, I've got my Rotary hat on now, um, of, of how Rotary International works with young people in the community. And a special thanks to Bournemouth Rotary who have actually organised this particular event. I've often heard it said, I'm sure you'll agree, that youngsters today are not appreciated and they're not understood. Well, I'm here today, standing up in front of you to say that you are valued, you are understood, you are, are under, appreciated. And you're valued very, very much by us oldies, if I can call ourselves oldies. And we are trying very, very hard to understand you. And I'm sure we're, we're actually getting somewhere. And we will continue to support and to encourage you because, very simply, you as young people, you're our future. It's as simple as that. You are our future. So congratulations to all of you who've got this far in the competition. Well done. Those, the first, second and third, who have actually got to the top, but it was very, very close, and I wouldn't have been a judge for all the tea in China. It must have been an extremely difficult job. And uh, well done, and every success for the future. Now, the little punchline, which I always give at the end, it's my job as district governor to promote Rotary, Rotary International. And I'd like to close by saying that you, and I'm looking down here now, as parents of these special young people, we rec you recognise what they've done. And I'd like to suggest to you that if you uh, recognise the work that we are doing with young people and the care we have for them, you might like to uh, join with us. Become a Rotarian. Come along to your uh, Rotary Club. You're near it. There is one close to you, I promise you that, and you would be made very, very welcome. And. Um, it is something which you might possibly consider. So, so I'll leave that thought with you. You'd be extremely welcome if you decided uh, to join the Rotary. So thank you very much for your time and every success for the, for the future, for the winners. Well done.